Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page eight of Mona Me. And uh, this is gonna be a fun page. So there's gonna be a very large pocket here, and then I'm gonna put um, kind of like an accordion flap system or a pop up, depending on how what how what you want to call it. So. I went ahead and added four magnets right here, which you don't have to do right now, um, but I did it uh, to help me remember um, what to do. So what are my measurements? 10 by seven and a half, 10 by seven and a half. So 10 inches across, seven and a half inches deep. You're gonna score a half inch on those three sides. So this would be a half inch and this would be nine and a half. And then this is scored at seven and a half. So while I was away, I found the center line here, which is my uh, pocket page, the center line on my pocket, which is gonna go just like this. And that's how I'm gonna mount it. It's gonna be centered actually. Before I do that, we're gonna add two decorative strips to the outside. So instead of trying to sneak them under the pocket, they'll already be uh, installed. These happen to be one and a half inches wide, and I only did that because they were they were scraps that I had available. It doesn't need to be that wide. Um, it needs to be, I think, three quarters of an inch wide, minimum. <clears throat> so any strips that you have that are three quarters of an inch wide, they will do. Now I'm gonna check and make sure, yeah. I was just checking to make sure it was right side up. I've already inked these, I used my Magic Powder Puff Mahogany, my favorite. Um, I just think dark brown goes so well with the Graphic 45. But really all I'm trying to do is knock off the white core. <clears throat> we are having a gorgeous sunny day. So as soon as I get this done, I'm gonna get my self outside for a little bit. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Okay, now we're going to center this. I won't need this for a little while, so might as well cap it. And this is art glitter glue. I love it. It doesn't take much, dries clear and fast. If you need wiggle room, it's probably not the right glue for you. Okay, so I'm gonna line up that little dot with this little dot. And then we have this nice, large pocket here, okay? So that's the beginning. So this is gonna wind up being the top piece, which is exactly the same size as the finished, which is nine by seven. So once you do your scores, the finished is nine by seven. So you're gonna need one of these. I'm gonna set that aside for a minute. <clears throat> then you're going to need two of these, and these are 10 by seven, 10 by seven, two of them. You're gonna score half inch, five, and nine and a half. Half inch, five, and nine and a half. You're gonna fold it in half and then fold back your two flanges. I'm gonna do that twice. My eyes are so dry today. I where it feels like there's a boulder in there. These are gonna get installed right on top of this pocket and these hinge areas are gonna face each other. <laughs> Nala's hair is everywhere. So we're gonna go install this score line flush with the edge of your pocket like so. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here, okay? So we'll do one at a time. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry for, <clears throat> this must be uh, dusty or something in the air because I'm really struggling with my breath. Okay, so again, I'm going to take this score line and put it flush with the edge of my pocket. Okay. 
push it into place. There we go. Now we're going to do that again with this side. Um, this is a pretty, uh, pretty cool um, design, but it is very magnet intensive. Now the other option is to keep everything in place is you could put a big bow across the center. Uh, now I didn't happen to have any ribbon that matched my project so or big enough so I'm going to go with the magnets so um, I'll explain that a little bit more okay I'm trying to make sure it's even top bottom and that they're not interfering there we go it's all pressed in place so we're almost there <clears throat> oh there's a big gap right there I wonder if that's okay Yep, it, everything looks even, so I'm, I'm happy with that. So the last thing is we remove these two strips and lay this down on top, and then what's going to happen is when you open it, it'll do that, and it'll flip-flop both ways. But before I add this, while I still have access to all of this, when it does open, um, let me show you it on its side. When it does open, you're going to see these two panels. So before I get too much further, I'm going to go ahead and put designer paper on these two panels. And I'm just double checking my edges and everything looks great. You can see there's a gap here. No one's going to see that. What's important is that it top to bottom and left to right that it's centered. Okay, so let's go find a couple of pieces of paper right here. Now after we scored this, it turns out that each side, each panel is four and a half by seven. So let me find something that's going to work. <clears throat> with the color and the size. <clears throat> so that means you're going to need either two 8 by 8s because of it's four and a half, you can't split it in half, color blocking or something from your 12 by 12, and I'm going to use this. So I think this is the only piece I hadn't cut out. Four and a half, or four and three 8s by 7 is going to cover that. And this is uh, by six and seven eighths. It's gonna be here. And it's not necessarily, you can leave it black, um, but I think it just makes it a little bit more interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna lay these in here right now. I'm not ready to put them down because it must go this way. That's weird. I just cut these straight off one piece. How did that happen? <clears throat> anyway, at any rate. Hmm. Very strange. I thought they would be line up with each other, but they don't. At, at any rate, this is going to go down um, and be what's hidden behind all of this. Now, the next challenge is figuring out the uh, magnets. So we know these are going to be inside. So I think I'm going to put some magnets underneath them. So I've already got these two down. It's a heavy mechanism, so you really need to consider a lot of magnets. <clears throat> I'm just going to use some scotch tape to hold it. I'm not convinced, I've been trying this off and on, that it makes the magnets stronger if it's thinner than the double-sided tape, but it sure feels like it. But my, I need to get some decent tape because this one doesn't want to tear, so it's kind of a pain. Okay. Okay. Makes sense so far? So we've got a magnet behind here attracting to that. Okay. Let's go ahead and put our designer paper down. This is needs to be inked real quick. And it's from the 12 by 12. <clears throat> I just figured out why these patterns don't match. 
I turn the height on each one separately. <clears throat> Area. Now the last piece that we're going to add is the top and it's going to go down just like this and it's going to be square with everything and this will be where we add our last magnet. So I'm going to, now we can either stack them and I haven't decided if I want to do that or not, but I'm going to do it right now just to hold everything in place while I add it. We can add these um, here or we can just add a single one here. Um, I haven't decided. We need to get this in either way. I also have a center line here that I can line up, but it's important to look at all your corners, make sure everything's lined up. <clears throat> I'm gonna do one side at a time. <clears throat> Actually, I think I'll do it this way. New plan. I'm going to open this up and then lay it down like this. There we go. So I'm checking my edges. There we go. Okay, so it opens like so, and so. I'm thinking I might just wanna do, yeah, one here and one here. Because when you stack magnets on top of each other, it just starts to make everything so thick. So I'm going to do one center and one center. Yeah. I'll let you know how that goes. You may opt for the two and stack them. But I think this is going to be strong enough um, to work for me. So there's one. I'll show it to you once I get everything mounted. So two, there's two behind here, uh, hidden. I'm sorry, they're up here, uh, behind that designer paper. So there's one here and one here to go with these, and then these two go together. And then that helps us with some of our bulk. more than one magnet. Okay. 
And this is our sort of accordion flap or pop-up. I don't know how, how, what you want to call it. But it's fun and it has room for a ton of photos. Now the last thing on this page as far as elements to add is a nice large photo mat. This photo mat is eight and a half by seven and three quarters, eight and a half by seven and three quarters, and it goes into the pocket that we created. Just like so. Okay, so that's most of it. Now let's start decorating. Okay, there we go. This is from the 12 by 12, and it's gonna become the top element, the main element of the page. Again, if I didn't mention it, we're working on page eight. Page eight. And this is a shout out to one of the viewers who likes every single page to be different. That's what I've done. Now, it doesn't mean that I haven't ever done these pages. It just means that there's no duplicates in this book. Which is fun, but I got to admit, it takes a lot longer. Because uh, you have to really seriously think about your paper planning when every single page is different. So you don't run out. Okay, now let's start decorating the inside. I've got everything trimmed out. So here's the plan. I just really liked this pattern. So this is uh, four and three eighths, and then this was what's left over after six. So I had a 12 inch wide by seven inch tall piece of paper and I split it between this side and the other side. And I just wanted to use as much as possible. So you don't have to do it this way, but I went ahead and added that little bit of uh, color blocking. And you're gonna see a little bit of color blocking on the other side. And I'm stalling because I mislaid my pick. Here it is on the floor. <clears throat> No, honey. Oh, Nala says hello to everybody. She's getting impatient with me. Okay, it looks like I've got everything inked. I think I did all my dry fitting last night prepping for this so it would go fast because it's kind of a complicated uh, page. I didn't want to start stop a lot. Um, I think a, a nice smooth flow is easier if you're trying to learn something, but I'd love to hear your feedback. Mm -hmm. See, that's a nice spot for, you know, photos. Put a four by six and then still have room to put um, like a little journal or blurb or um, even a... What's the word? Embellishment. I was having a hard time coming up with that word. Okay, there. Okay, now here's the other patterns. By the way, everything I'm using on these, both left and right, are, um, good girl, uh, 12 by 12s. So we're going to use this to finish off this page. This goes next, and then this comes in. And then when we open it, we're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. So I think this color blocking just goes a, a long way to, you know, to make visual interest. And then also, um, you don't just have one single, you know, kind of boring map behind every photo, which is pretty predictable. Oh, you know what? Mm, I forgot. I, I just, uh, I rough cut that. It needs... It needs to be trimmed, so I'll go ahead and lay down the other two. I'd forgotten about that. Because I knew, when I was color blocking, I knew I would have to trim it one more time. <clears throat> no, <it's> <laughs> she's sticking her head under my elbow and making me jerk around, sorry. I'm gonna get a couple more things done here, honey, and we'll go, okay? Almost ready. It's like having a toddler. Except she's nicer. <laughs> I 
I know everybody loves you too. Okay, now because I'm doing the same left and right, I've got this one which is dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim it. I don't need much, looks like maybe a 16th or an 18th. That's the best shot. <clears throat> Let's see how we did. Mm. I know. I know. I had an old dog that used to do that with my elbow. It reminds me of His name was Ajax. He was a big giant Rottweiler. He was a good dog. He really was a good dog. I'd gotten him from a breeder who was retiring him and oh, he was trained so well. He was a cart dog. And those dogs are a lot like German Shepherds. They need a job. What do you guys think? Come along. I like it. There's a ton of, ton of photo space in this. And room for larger photos. Okay, now everything we did, we are going to repeat over here. <clears throat> Except the mistakes. We're going to leave those up. <clears throat> there it is. Yep. <clears throat> of course, you can put more. Um, Good grief, I can't get a hold of it. Uh, inserts in there, and then at the last thing, we're gonna come back and we're gonna fill that gap. So the pocket is slightly lined and there's a frame around the insert. Now, I made a mistake and cut the wrong side. You guys aren't gonna do that, right? <laughs> but that's okay, I just use tape and put it back together. No one will notice except me, because I know I did it. Even though I inked it, and you can see it's bolder than it would be otherwise, nobody else will notice. So I'm not gonna to stress too much. Certainly not gonna get a new paper just for this. Okay. Usually when I do that, I realize I've done it before I ink it, and then you can tape it together and it's all, it, it disappears, really. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, dry fit. <laughs> there we go. I right, need to ink the edge I just trimmed. Are any of you guys from San Diego? Um, let me know in the comments. I'm going to do uh, a quick card class at um, a local retreat house here in San Diego. So let me know. Um, leave something in the comments and then I'll send you the information. It's not posted on our website because it is, um, I'm doing it for the retreat house itself. So um, if you reach out and contact me, I'll link you to the retreat house so you can take a look at the project.
I'm going to start trying to do a couple of projects. Um, smaller, not, not mini album. Well, at some point, if there's enough interest, I would do a local mini album as well. But at the moment, uh, it's going to be a pop-up tunnel card and then a card buffet. And she is a like-minded crafter and I'm just trying to help her out with her business, try to get some folks in. Um, when I go to retreats, I like to stay local. So I usually go to her house, which is in Lakeside, San Diego. She's got a beautiful house with a pool, spa and all that. So it really does feel like a retreat. <laughs> so anyways, if you're here in San Diego and might be interested, I think it's February 25th um, is the class. And it's two, it's a class and a card buffet, two and a half hours. So send me your, um, your details and I'll reach out and let you know more. And if you're interested, great. I'd love to meet you. I had so much fun a couple years ago when I went to the expo and sold albums and met people, new people, but also met some, some of the viewers. It was so fun. I missed out on that this year. But um, even though I really enjoyed that, the uh, the booth cost was just prohibitive. They want like nine fifty for a booth. That's just crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh my gosh! Look at those you guys. It's so exciting. Look at that. I love it. And I do think after having um, put everything together, that the right answer is a single um, magnet here, and then that'll save you at least a set of magnets, right? Instead of two, you just have to do the one right there. Okay, the last the last part is we're going to add this, which was just a scrap that I had left over, but I kind of cut around it so she was framed, and we also got the jetim. And then this was also a scrap. So I am going to stagger these two because I thought it looked real pretty, just like that. So this is three and a quarter by six if you decide to use a different pattern that'll at least get you sort of the dimensions I'm just eyeballing I think slightly off center always looks a little bit better if you're going to go center you've got to be precise but it almost looks like you're trying too hard. Take some of the sort of organic nature of art out of it when it's all hard right angles. It's actually a little higher than I wanted it. So I'm gonna see, yep, I can. I was gonna see, I'm gonna see if I can move it and I can. Okay, there we go. Okay, now the last thing. We're going to take our insert out. We're going to find a piece of paper to go right there. So what I think I want to do is just go ahead and reintroduce that pattern. If I've got a piece, I will. I could also choose something else. But I didn't want to use, you know, like a, an 8 by 10 panel behind it. That's just using way too much paper. That's why I did the um, piecing. Yep, I got a scrap that works. I'm just seeing if I can actually, if by chance I can line up my circles. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? Mm, it's pretty close, but not quite. Problem is I can line it up here or here, but not both. That's all right. This will do. So I'm just going to glue it down in its entirety. And then because I'm not officially trying to color block it, this would be the other option is to create that color block line, which now that I look at it, I kind of like, so maybe I will. So let's see, let's get my first trim. Yes, it is. And now I'm going to ink it and lay it down. This page will be officially finished. 
Uh, I'm really liking this album. I was just going to say, I'm trying to think through which one's my favorite page. And mm, it's tough because I like them all. So this is going to get tucked slightly into the pocket. And then we're just going to line it up at the edge of the overall page. And we'll well be done. Okay, that's 12 by 12, by the way. That is what we have for page eight. Yay! Just think about that. I mean, we have eight photos between the left and right, and this big giant photo mat. And then, of course, you could tuck a couple of other things in there. Oh, I'm tuck a tag. I don't know if these are long enough. No, but the long tags, you could shorten them a little bit and they would work. Um, lovely. It is a little bit heavy and that's um, okay because I kept page seven pretty light. So that's it. Yay, all done with page eight.